Miss Robertson. Now you join me on a very exciting day because today we're going on a trip to Mexico. That's right, everybody hop on the plane. I'll see you on the other side. So we've landed in Mexico City to see an exhibition of work by the very, very famous artist Frida Kahlo. A gallery. It's somewhere between a library and a party. Everyone's being quite quiet and discussing the images that are in front of them. You're looking really carefully and considering what it is that you're looking at. Frida Kahlo can be seen as one of the most important artists of the 20th century. Not just in her native Mexico, but across the whole world. She painted her own image, a portrait of herself, again and again and again, until she'd built up a famous body of work that explored her identity, who she was. Now your identity might explore the fact that you live in Scotland. It might be that you support a certain football team, it might be an activity that you do, it might be the way you like to dress, it might be your religion. For Frida Kahlo, she explored her identity as a woman, as an artist, as a Mexican person, and she was also disabled. She used flamboyant Mexican costumes, jewellery and exotic pets and ultimately made herself into something of an icon. An icon means very recognisable, a symbol. She was married to Diego Rivera, a famous Mexican muralist. She actually married him twice. As well as taking inspiration from her own life, Calo drew upon a wide range of influences, including surrealism, ancient Aztec beliefs, and popular Mexican folklore. The main type of painting she produced throughout her life were self-portraits. She indeed explored many issues about her life and her feelings through her work, but in beautifully painted and closely observed self-portraits, of just her head and shoulders. There are many more photographs of Frida Kahlo than there are self-portraits. Kahlo wasn't a particularly well-known artist during her lifetime. Severely injured in a bus crash in her youth, Frida Kahlo took up painting when confined to her bed. Kahlo's life was changed forever by the accident and the portrayal of her body racked with pain is a recurring theme in her paintings. The next stop on our trip is to Frida Kahlo's very own studio. Now we can move forward and see all the different types of equipment, brushes, paints, special easels and all the things that Frida Kahlo kept around her to keep her inspired. You can find this on Google Maps if you're interested to have a rake around yourself. Inspired by what we've seen today, draw a picture of yourself surrounded by objects, people, animals that help represent you for your self-portrait. I can't wait to see what you create. Make sure to upload it to the online classroom.